Good morning, everybody, and welcome, welcome. I'm Gary Collins. I'm Dana Fleming. We're going to kick off today's show with all-pro wide receiver of the Los Angeles Raiders, Willie Gall. Willie! Hey, Willie. Yeah. And I'll show you an innovative program to keep kids out of gangs and into tights. What? Ballet tights, that oh. is. I'll perform with the kids and the dancers of the Long Beach Ballet Company on a very special evening. <laughs> Yeah. 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 One solution to the growing gang problem here in Los Angeles is dance. That's right. These youngsters are part of a special program that does just that. And here to tell us about it is all pro wide receiver for the Los Angeles Raiders, Willie Gold. Hi, Willie. Hi, Willie. Hey, guys. Come on, kids. Come on over here. Come sit down, Hi, gather Willie. around. Nice to have you here. How are you? Really nice Great. to see nice you. Nice to be here. Okay. She whiz. Well, let's see. First off, let's introduce these youngsters. Uh, this is Shelton. This is Jonathan. That's Todd and that's Geron over there. Very good. And this is Willie. And that's I'm Willie. Willie. Right. All right. <laughs> now, Willie, you, in conjunction with a professional mm -hmm. ballet company, have started the Willie Galt Long Beach Ballet Dance Camp. Tell yes. us all about it. Well, this camp is basically targeted toward kids 9 to 14 years of age in high-risk areas. And what we try to do is teach them discipline through dance. And as you drive to work and we drive around town, you can see the energy on walls, unfortunately, through graffiti or, or murals. And we want to try to challenge that energy in something positive like dance. Now, I know that uh, athletes in the past, I'm thinking primarily of, of wide receivers <laughs> yeah. and running backs, have used ballet, what, for balance? It balance. Lynn Swan did it some time ago, and uh, it helps you when these defenders try to tear your head off to be able to move in a different way to get away from them. <laughs> yeah. So it's very creative, and uh, it helps you with your flexibility a great deal. Why did you get involved? Well, I got involved primarily because I think we all have to give something back to the community. Uh, the, the way we did it was we went to schools in Long Beach, uh, along with the teachers and the principals, we worked with uh, to try to get 60 kids uh, to, they told us why they want to be, be in ballet, why they want to be involved on a short essay, and they, um, they practice five times a day for five, five hours a day, five weeks, and uh, they put a, together a performance at the end of the, the show, and they did it this last Friday, and they did a wonderful job. All right, you guys exciting. have fun? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. All right, let's take a look. At uh, the Long Beach Center Theater uh, last Friday evening, we sent our cameras down there to capture the performance, as well as the sense of just how much this program means not only to the kids, but to everyone involved. Let's take a look. While dancing ballet in front of hundreds of people may once have seemed impossible for these inner city children, it's a dream they've been working towards all summer long. How come we all get to wear what? heads? The girls get to wear heads. Okay, thank you. Thanks to the efforts of artistic director David Wilcox and the Long Beach Ballet Company, these 60 children have spent the past five weeks preparing for the performance, working five hours a day, five days a week. These kids have so much energy in, in them, and they've got so much creativity and it's just a little misdirected sometimes and so here we've got this perfect melding of mind and body and spirit which is dance and we can get these kids into a situation where they're doing something positive and something beautiful instead of out on the streets just making a mess with their lives are we ever gonna get to dance perfect that's how that in order to interest more boys in the program david recruited willie to help dispel some of their misconceptions about ballet Last year, there was only one boy in the whole program, and um, of course, guys look at ballet and they say, well, you know, it's a sissy sport, or, or these guys have to walk, walk around with these tights on, or tutus, of course. You see all the skits on television, you see the guys in the tutus, and everyone makes fun of them, but that's really not the case. Um, once they saw that I was involved and I have danced before, I think it gave them a little bit more uh, energy and a little bit more uh, awareness of what was happening with ballet and a little bit more courage to do it. As the summer progressed, the changes these kids were going through became obvious to themselves and their parents. Todd Bono's mother had real concerns about her son before the camp began. I really hate to think what kind of activities he might be in because we were having a lot of problems with him the last two months of school. And I was told by his principal if we didn't catch it now, we wouldn't catch it. I would be over at Jefferson with all the wannabe gang members and stuff like that doing bad things. But thanks to the dance camp, Todd has discovered a more constructive way to express himself. I learned how to tap. I learned how to do jazz and ballet. You focus your mind on what the teachers say, not on what, what other kids are saying. You learn discipline here. 
There are lots of gang members that live around my house, so my mom just wanted me to go out somewhere because she didn't want me to like, get in gangs or anything. It took him a while to get used to it before he started telling people that he was actually dance. But now I mean, he talks about it to, to everyone, and he's not, um, he doesn't associate it with being something just for girls. But um, he's, he's had a good time. Donovan Rico's mother can also see a difference in her son. He's learned discipline through this, and I see the grace that is brought into his life also. It's beautiful. Finally, the big night was at hand, and backstage, Willie, David, and the kids eagerly prepared for their big debut. Mary, are y'all ready? Yeah! You gotta knock yeah! You gotta show them what it's all about? Yeah! So what does a dance camp really do, right? Well, it teaches... Oh, hi, sweetheart. I thought you were backstage tied up. Can we dance? One minute, one minute. What about your new peers? One second, new peers? I'll be back in a second. I'll tell you in a minute, okay? Peers and uh, opportunity to dance. Although all those weeks of hard work culminated in just one memorable performance, the lessons these kids have learned will last them a lifetime. Uh, I think the kids are gonna be able to take several things with them. One of self-respect, one of uh, determination, and one of pride, because they've been able to accomplish something here. I feel like crying. I'm happy. I'm just so happy. I look at him, and I think, that can't be my boy that we were so frightened for. You know, it's no more yo man or hey cuz. It's all over, I hope. Terrific. Boy, we got some proud moms. Oh, in boy, our, our moms are too. sitting up there in the audience and they're just smiling away. We'll get a shot. Raise of them. your hand up if to you're your a left. mother. Up Raise to your, your hand. Left. Over to the other way. Oh, we'll get them in a second. Yeah. Anyway, there all the moms are, are there. There they are. You want to know the, the effectiveness? There's moms. Yeah. yeah, raise your hand, moms. There. Is this great or what? Congratulations to you guys. Now, you want to know how effective this program is? Last year, Willie was saying to us during the tape, one boy became involved. Was in the this camp. year, how many youngsters? Well, how many males? originally it was 14, then 11 did the performance. Yeah. yeah. Right. And next year it'll be even more. It'll be more, that's right. Because this is just the first now, year. Now, what I want to know from you guys, all right, and Todd, maybe you can speak to it or Duran, uh, first of all, what's your feeling when somebody comes to you and says, hey guys, want to do some ballet? <laughs> <laughs> huh? First reaction is like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about, ballet? Yeah. Is it important that somebody like Willie Galt, Willie Galt uh, Jonathan, is involved? No, it's not that important. Huh? Not <laughs> now, wait a minute. Wait, was it wait an inspiration? Oh. Didn't you yeah. think it was kind of a sissy sport thing or a sissy thing to do before? And now you hear this guy, a great football player is involved. It can't be all bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that the way you all felt? Uh -huh. Now, what's going to happen? Are you going to take dance lessons or anything for yeah. next year's yes. performance? Yeah. 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 Take, um, really? And tap. Great. Same with you too. That's what crazy. about you, Jaren? How about that? We so may that's have what budding right. careers. Exactly. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, if somebody watching wants to get this started in their community, or if they just want to join mm -hmm. the Long Beach company, what can they do? Well, as I said, it's not really important that I be involved, but everyone be involved. I think uh, we all have to make a commitment. It's not just my problem or one problem. It's everyone's problem, and we have to show our kids that we care. They have to be hugged, they have to be loved, and that's what these kids need. Okay. They don't need to, they, they think they get it from the gangs, but they don't. They need to get it from us, and, and that's the main reason I'm involved. And uh, if you want to be involved, just contact the Long Beach Ballet Company. They'll be able to give you all the information that's necessary. Right, that is okay, terrific. We've got of course, an uh, if you're here in the Southern California area, you can contact the Long Beach Ballet. And if you're somewhere else and you want to start one of these programs, simply write to Long Beach Ballet Company, 1122 East Wardlow. Road, Long Beach, California, 90807. That's terrific. Willie, thank you, kids. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Guys. Keep it up. Thank We're going to stay in touch with you guys. Thank Thanks. you very much. Next pediatrician, Dr. Barry Brazelton, and the new trend.